everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be heading off to Target because the new fall with Hearth and Hand with Magnolia collection just dropped. So I wanna show you all of those pieces, give you some styling tips, some high-end dupe comparisons, and just my thoughts on the collection in general. So it should be a really fun shop with me. And then we're gonna come back home and I'm gonna show you everything that I found from my space and how I style it within my home. So it should be a really fun fall themed video. I'm so excited to start transitioning into fall decor. And hopefully this video gives you some ideas. So when you're out shopping, you feel inspired. So without further ado, let's go to Target. All right, so here we are at Target, and I don't know about you all, but when there's a new home decor line out, I beeline it to the back of the store where the home decor section is at my Target. And this new Hearth and Hand fall collection was really well designed, in my opinion. And one of my favorite things was this candelabra that totally reminded me of Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast with its asymmetry. And this would just be so pretty popped on a mantle or used in a dining table setup. I thought that $20 was really reasonable, and I I loved the unique design and shape of it. Another thing that I really liked from this collection was this vertical striped pillow. It reminded me a lot of the Culver pillow cover from Pottery Barn, and this guy was only $17, but it's definitely on the smaller side, so it would be a good accent pillow to layer in front of other pillows. And they also had it in this dark brown purple color, which would give a nice contrast on lighter furniture. Another thing I really liked was this giant stem, and I loved the warm cognac color of the leaves, and the best thing about the stem was its size. I tested it out, with the largest vase I could find and it's crazy how much height these stems gave this vase in this arrangement. They're so big that honestly you could get away with only using two which is really nice and definitely helps save some money on fall florals. And a really pretty season neutral piece in this collection is this tabletop olive tree and this one is just slightly bigger than the other hearth and hand olive tree making it perfect for popping on a console table, a coffee table, a desk, or a dresser. It would also be really pretty styled in a bath Bathroom and the branches looked super realistic and I just love the tone of the leaves also so definitely a really pretty piece and if you're looking for a plaid blanket this autumn season this is a really affordable one from this collection and it is so soft it's definitely on the lighter side but I love the fringe detail and that the pattern is enough to make a statement but it's not overpowering and this one is probably my favorite pattern even though it's hard to see with these things being all rolled up but it looks very similar to one that we have draped over our sofa and I love the color combo of the tan and navy. I think that it is such a classic and timeless look. This new collection also has some really pretty dinner napkins and when it comes to table settings that laid back casual elegance is very popular and these light linen-y looking napkins really help give off that vibe and this stripe set totally reminds me of the European stripe napkin set from West Elm which is a lot more expensive. Now this isn't part of the new collection but I'm incorporating lots of wovens into my decor this fall and this wastebasket is a dupe for the seagrass basket from Pottery Barn and you could even use this as a vase if you wanted to with that lining on the inside and I just love all the texture and warmth that the woven material adds. They also had a bunch of fall floral arrangements which are usually a really great value considering they come with the vase but I will say I love the stems in this one but I was a little disappointed that it was so expensive for the size. I think that a way better value is this piece it is only two dollars more and is much larger and creates a more impactful statement in my opinion. I love the movement and the color of the stems as well as the rustic inspired distressed vase. This is probably one of my favorite pieces from this entire collection and you might be seeing it a little bit later in this video. There were also a couple of really sweet mini arrangements in the five to six dollar range and those would be really cute for accenting larger decor pieces. And it's hard to imagine a fall line at Target without some amber glass and I was really impressed with the design on this one. I like how they gave it a very visually interesting shape with all of the sides. And this is the large size and they also have it available in a medium and a small so you can layer them all together. They also had these new fall candles and I loved the cute ceramic cup that they came in and they also had some great color choices available but I just don't know $15 for a small candle that's just a little bit pricey in my opinion. However something that I saw for $15 and thought it was a really great value was this pinch pot set. They look very similar to the ones being sold at our house and I think having these out on your counter would really help elevate the look of your kitchen. So something that I was really excited to see were dark 
darker colored pitchers because Hearth and Hand has pretty much always done lighter colored pitchers. So it was nice to see some dark ones for contrast for those of us with lighter kitchens. So something that you could easily miss if you weren't actually looking for it is this wood handled pumpkin carving set. And this would be so fun if you were hosting a pumpkin carving party this fall. And I like that they would be a seasonal piece that you could hang on to for seasons to come. I also get a lot of questions about where I got my tub tray from and that was a lucky home goods find but I saw this and thought of you all because at $28 it's super affordable and I love the slatted wood detail and this is just an inexpensive piece that you can add to your bathroom decor to help it look a lot more designer and spa like. So something we saw in the past collections was a lot of gray and lighter toned woven pieces but now with these newer collections they're starting to gravitate more towards dark wovens and I love this darker tray for fall. I think it would be so pretty out on a coffee table with a little floral arrangement in it and it would just be so nice to organize and store things like remotes, card games, coasters, candles, whatever. So I talked about this art piece in my last Target video and it is one of my favorite pieces. What I love about it is its versatility. You can hang it vertical or horizontal or if you need a larger statement piece like over a sofa or king bed, you could always hang two like this with one upside down and I think that would just look really stunning. Another piece that looks so much better in person than online are these ceramic vases. I love the color of them for fall and they would look so pretty with some fall florals or dried stems in them. And the last thing that I saw was this really cute potted plant arrangement. I loved how the tips of the stem seemed to be turning red and the darker rustic pot that it came in. I thought it was a really great value at $20. And now it is time to head back to the house and show you all what I found. All right, so we're back home. And as I mentioned in the shop with me portion, I picked up this gorgeous arrangement. This was one of the things I was the most excited to see when I was previewing the fall collection online and it did not disappoint in person. I love the rustic look of this vase and I like that it's small and still very inexpensive, but it does really create a statement with this gorgeous rust color. You could pop this in a bathroom, on a dresser, on a side table, a coffee table, in a kitchen, on the island, wherever. You could group it with a fall candle and some other little cozy items in a tray just to create a more homey look. I'm going to put this on a little rustic stool that we have by our reading chair. That area tends to kind of wash out a little bit just because there is a lot of white. So I think adding this punch of red will really make a big difference and just give it a more dramatic look for fall, which is really what I'm wanting to warm that space up over there. And if you are on a budget for your fall decor, this is a really great piece to give because I feel like it can transform the look of a whole room just for the price of this alone, which is really nice. All right, so something that I actually found in the Target dollar spot was this this gorgeous glass pumpkin. It was only $5, which I thought was such a steal because they have an almost identical looking one on sale at Pottery Barn for $29. So big price difference there. And I bought two of them just because I figured they'd be really pretty to put out on a dining table setup. But you could honestly put whatever in here. The lid comes off like this and you could put candles in here, bowl filler, candy, whatever. I just thought that this would be a really pretty decor piece to have on hand. And the fact that it was only $5 and looks almost exactly like the Pottery Barn one was crazy. So what I figured I would do with it is just put some dried oranges that I had left over from last year. I like to incorporate natural materials and natural things into my decor so you know those dried oranges are really nice I kind of keep the feeling very earthy and natural without being too themey or bright or flashy which is what I like but I think that it's still a really fun way to incorporate pumpkins into my decor and it looks really classy in my opinion so I think I'm just gonna pop that maybe on my mantle for now just do one of them and then maybe later if I do a autumn table setup then I'll use these on the table so yeah a really great find if you see any of these at your target dollar spot I would definitely snap them. All right, so the next thing I found was this gorgeous pillow. Now this was actually from the Threshold line and this was only $22, which I thought was a steal considering it looks almost identical to the Jonah pillow from McGee & Co. It's just a different color and that one is $108. So $22 seems like a steal compared to that. And what I think I'm going to do actually is it comes with a very firm pillow insert, as you can see. Target pillows usually aren't very choppable and I like my fill to be, you know, a little 
little bit more loose and choppable. So what I'm gonna do is just switch it out for a down insert that I already have on hand. So I think that will really help this look a lot more expensive and designer. So I'm just gonna pop this on again, our reading chair because that area just needs a little bit of warmth and color. And I think this in combination with the rust floral arrangement will look really nice and just really cozy that space up for fall and give that warm ambiance that I'm going for. All right, so this next thing that I found actually wasn't in store. It was only available online, but it was only $25 and I figured that was a really good price. And it is this gorgeous plaid throw. Now, I am just planning to use this for purely decor purposes. This isn't one of those that you like cuddle up with. It's not horrible, but I did notice a couple threads coming out of it. So I haven't put it through the washing machine yet and I'm going to do that to see if that helps. But just so you all know, disclaimer, there were a couple threads coming out of mine, um, but I thought that it would be really pretty just hanging on a blanket ladder or putting over on a corner of a sofa, you know, just for decoration, not for your cozy throw that you are constantly using. But I figured the light cream color would look really good on our dark navy sofa. And I love the combination of tan or cognac and navy. I just think that is such a classic combination and that's really what we have going on in our living room. So I love the subtle striping on here that it wasn't too loud or over the top, but it just still gives that little punch of fall, which is what I'm going for in my home. Just little subtleties here and there, not redoing the whole space or anything. Thing, but just incorporating those couple core pieces that give it that subtle coziness. All right, so something that I picked up that I actually showed in the shop with me portion was this gorgeous brown leaf stem. Now, my Target only had one left and there is one that is 30 minutes away that has two more. So I put an order in for pickup, but I did not have time to drive all the way over there before filming this video. So I only have one in this video, but honestly, I'm kind of glad because just having one made me realize that you could just use one of these. I think it would look really pretty and create a statement. If you're going for that more minimal look, I think that this is a really pretty stem to pick up. It's $10, so pretty reasonable, especially considering that you only need one or two. It would be a great way to add height to a mantle, maybe on a corner in a tall skinny vase. That could be really pretty. Or you could just pop two in a large vase to make a statement, maybe on a dining table or a kitchen island or a console table or something like that. But like I said in the shop with me portion, these things are definitely large. I believe they're 42 inches, which is like one of the biggest sizes that's even available. So I love the color of these, by the way. Something that I'm very conscientious of with my fall decor is just not getting things that are too bright in color because then that can look a little bit fake sometimes. And I really appreciate the brown tone of these. I think it's very natural. It looks like you just went and brought them in from outside, which is what I personally am going for in my space. Just that very down to earth, natural, realistic, looking fall decor. And yeah, I'm hopefully gonna go over to Target within the next couple of days and grab my other two. All right, so this last piece was just one that I could not pass up. It is this gorgeous candelabra. I just love the asymmetry of this. I thought it had so much character. I also really liked the brass tone on here. I feel like sometimes at Target, the brass tones can pull a little bit yellow or orange sometimes, but this one looked really expensive in my opinion, very authentic. So I'm just gonna pop this on our mantle. I have some twisted taper candles that I'm just gonna pop in here. I got those at Hobby Lobby. And I just love the simple statement that this makes. It's not too over the top or crazy, but it's great for that minimal decor and it would honestly look really pretty if you got a couple of them and use them on a dining table setup. This would look really pretty accented on a coffee table or a console table. It would look great on a dresser. There's lots of spots to put it, so I figured it was one of those versatile decor pieces that will last me throughout the seasons, not just autumn, and I don't know, I really liked this one. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this Target shop with me and haul. I hope it gave you some fun fall decor inspiration, whether you're decorating now or a couple months from now, you know, I know it is early, but I do like to just get this content out so you guys can get the ideas before all of the items sell out. So also everything is linked below, so you can check the description box for that. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help to support my channel. And again, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.